there welcome back i have a empties of april yes that is the month we just ended it is may i didn't go through anything in april this is the smallest empties i've ever had ever on youtube so i don't know what happened i use everything as normal i thought i did at least but uh let's jump in here because it's so short I'm gonna add in a few like PR things that were sent to me at the end just to make this like a normal video. So let's go. Number one, I went through a soap. Only one this time, sort of. This is the Fresh Spring Garden Creamy Luxe Hand Soap. And I had ran out of like actual soap midway through the month of April. And so I put this fresh cream inside, which isn't a hand soap, but it's a body soap and it works the same and it smells delicious. Such a good scent, the fresh cream philosophy. You have to try the perfume. Um, and I just realized, because when it's like this, you can't tell sometimes, I still have some product left in here. So I'm gonna use the rest of this before I actually throw it away and put it in recycling. So, soap on two of them, but only one hand soap. Technically one and a half, because this did have Bath & Body Works product in it before. And I went through a degree. This is a spray. Oh my gosh, some of it's still coming out. I thought this was gone weeks ago. It's a spray, oh, ugh, there it is, there it is, it smells disgusting. Um, spray deodorant, didn't work very well. This is the Dry Shield Active Shield Dry Spray. Three layer odor protection, 48 hour wear. It doesn't even have one hour wear. I was feeling sweaty like immediately. I went through a wallflower in the bathroom in the scent leaves, such a good scent. I'm currently going through summer ones like um mineral springs oh that smells so good you guys have to try that if you are into that kind of thing another bath and Works product almond this is like my new favorite scent like in a year round just use it all the time type of scent and i had originally bought the small one because i didn't know if i'd like it and boy do i love it although my current almond candle i have a three wick is not burning well at all like at all it will not burn so i'm at like this midway point I think I'm gonna return it for a new one because I hear that you can do that. I don't know, tell me if you know. Leggings. I went through a pair of leggings. They're in my empties because I'm getting rid of them because the seam has completely just like ripped across multiple different areas and they don't stay on my hips, they just slide down. It's so frustrating. They're by Glider, such a soft material. Loved, loved, loved this. It lasted me probably only a year before it became unwearable. And it's like unwearable for anyone because the seam is literally just like, I don't know if you can tell, it's like half gone. It won't stay up at all. Otherwise, it was a really good legging, but they almost cost the same as Lululemon. And my Lululemon leggings, my black ones, have held up through like hundreds of uses. And this hasn't had that many. It's already out. So I don't think I would necessarily suggest them. Take that for what you will. I do still have another pair of glider leggings that I have in my closet. And I like them because they make my butt look nicer than it actually does. So of course I've kept them. Um, but I've only worn them maybe like 20 times. So we'll see if the seams stay. And the last thing which Mr. Oliver is playing with is this loofah. I went through two loofahs in April. I don't know how that happened, but this I got after one use, it broke. So half of this is supposed to have a whole nother section to it. And now it's just this hard section and then a half of a normal loofah. So $5 wasted. I already bought a new one, different brand. Not going back to this, I got this at Target. Okay, I think, yeah, that was everything. Can you believe that is all I went through? So, nur, 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 I have this Glow Recipe Pineapple Bright Serum. If you know what baby food smells like, this smells like baby food, pineapple baby food, like applesauce. It smells so good, like I love it. Oliver loves it. Whenever I put it on, which I put on every single morning, he'll come up to my face and try licking it. Apparently it smells tasty to him. Actually, I don't know if he kept licking like it tasted pretty good. You should not do this, but because I'm weird, I'm gonna do this, but I wanna see what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, it's like a sweet chemical taste. Don't eat this at home. Oh, please do not. Um, I will not be responsible for your medical care. Anyways, it's like a brightening serum and you can use it with 
well, you're supposed to put like a lotion over top of it, but like in the summer months, if you can tell, I'm not dry in the summer. I'm like oily. And in the winter, I get dry patches. So I haven't been putting a moisturizer over it and it's been perfect. It just works just like a moisturizer, I guess, would. But for all of you dry ladies out there, you're gonna wanna put a lotion on top of that because it's not meant to be a lotion. But I use it as one. I also got a compliment and my skin does not get that kind of compliment. But someone's like, your skin looks so pretty. How do you keep it so clear and so like smooth? And I'm just like, Thank you, never had that before. It's not, I have a solid breakout down here, but uh, that literally makes my skin look a thousand times better. So I know I was sent it for free. I am not paid whatsoever. I highly, highly recommend that. It's like a holy grail for me at the moment. And then lastly, I got a Pixi PR because they are the best and they keep my skincare needs in check. I have not had to buy really any skincare lately because of them. So what I was sent is a glow tonic cleansing gel. So it's an exfoliating cleanser. I've been, I'm not self tanned right now. I just bought a new self tanner. It's coming in the mail from Sephora in the VIB sale, but I've been needing exfoliators and I've been testing out different exfoliators and I'm actually going to a wedding this weekend. So I'm trying to get as pale as possible to put like a fresh layer of tan on this week. Um, a glow tonic, you guys have seen this before. I'm always using this. I just have, they have a big one they sent to me at Christmas and I just will use it throughout the day when I don't have makeup on and which is like the weekends. Then I have this Pixi Glow Tonic Serum. I have not used this yet, but you use it just as like the other serum. After you wash your face, you put it on with like a cotton ball or whatever. And um, it's supposed to make your skin balance, smooth, hydrated, and then um, restore the radiance. So I will try that once that one is out. And then I have Phenomenal Gel. Phenomenal, is that how you spell phenomenal? We're going with it. Aloe vera and chestnut. This is a moisturizer. I needed a new one. Yes. So use this after your serum and um, it's supposed to stabilize your skin's pH balance. And it's a gel, which is good for oily skin. So again, summertime. I don't need anything like really hydrating because like I will get close. I just had to dab my face with the tissue. It was so oily. I'm about to go to the gym. That's why I look like this and I'm in like a um, casual wear. And the lastly, we have the On The Glow with Ginseng and Glycolic Acid Multi-Use Moisture Stick. I don't know what this is. Use it on your face, lips, hair, and body. Um, why do you, what do you use it on your hair? Oh, like on the ends maybe? Like, I can see that. I have pretty dry ends. Um, and on your lips I can see that. And But on your, I don't know. I've never, I'll have to play with this. I don't know you guys. It seems intriguing, but I can't picture putting on all those different places. I'll just work with it. Okay, anywho, that is everything. I love you so very much. And I will see you guys really soon in another video. I promise my May empties will be a lot larger because I've already went through like five different things. Goodbye. I'm a girl in love.